Ironwood Games. This is Andrew. Welcome back to our playthrough, Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. We uh, Last time we had just talked to the mayor, um, had gotten some information uh, to go to the mine and recover. Well, I think we had to recover some crystals for him. Let's go to our items. Oh, I don't do this here. Um, here we go. Do, 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 Mary Klaus's request. Um, yeah, retrieve a septium crystal from the Malga Mines Chief. Bring it to the mayor's house. So that is what we'll be doing in today's episode. Let's see. How do we... Oh, if they're downstairs. All right, the mine as we all know, is north of town. Um, let me reorient ourselves here. Uh, there we go, okay. Um, let's see, it's off to the kind of northwest here. Um, we went down this way uh, before when we were kind of um, finding those two boys that were lost. Uh, we went to the tower, which is to the left at the fork. And so today we're going to go to the mine, which is at the right of the fork. Um, it looks like, and maybe I should have healed um, at the inn before this because Looks like we're a little injured, low on EP right. from our last we quest. But let's see, maybe we can get to um, enough easy battles into a level up that then that won't. Um, or does that rock look suspicious? But I guess it's nothing. Okay. Good to go. Yeah, only one experience. We're not getting a lot from these guys because we're a little high level uh, compared to them. Which is <laughs> perfectly fine. Um, they don't do much as far as damage to us. Finish them off real quick. Uh, looks like we get one cat attack, but the cats don't hit hard enough uh, for us. And focusing their power means no hit at all. So we get out and We're good to go. And we'll pick up um, a couple of items and things as we go. Alright, so here I think, um, I don't think that's, I think that's just, yeah, the treasure chest there. Um, I think just a little bit up ahead here is the fork. Um, it gets in the next screen. Okay. Yeah, here's the fork. Okay. So if you recall, before we went to Ismelis Tower, um, that way to uh, save the two little boys that ran away, got into some trouble. So today we will be going on the Malga Trail uh, to the Malga Mine to get that Septium Crystal. Let's see if we can do enough damage to kill. 
kill this guy before he hits us. I think he still does a little bit of damage. Um, hopefully not enough to really put us in danger before we can uh, level up. That's that, we do have our crafts Let's move out. available. It looks like we're still just getting one XP from that guy too, so they're not really worth the fight, but they will chase us run away from them, so we might as well just face them head on. Um, here's a case where they do get a... yeah, I'm gonna use... Um... Let's do this! Because I don't want them to get that bonus that's coming up. Could likely, you know, do a 30 damage, a good chunk of damage. So I think I'll just use, um, the full crafts. I forgot I was just looking, I forgot that I still points. Um, I forget about those so we'll have to keep an eye on that. Piece of cake. We get up to like 20 to 30 points and see what other opportunities, uh, types of attacks we can do. All right. I think we also did go this way um, to find those, uh, the quote unquote, uh, I was gonna say magic mushrooms. I don't know if they were magic mushrooms. The um, mushrooms that had been infused with Septium uh, for the guy at the uh, air station, air base. There. So I think we have gone through this path, we just haven't gone to the actual mine. Alright, six damage is not unheard of. Nine is fine. Um, even though those cats don't damage. We'll just get rid of attackers. Alright, now we have 20 points. Let's see what we can do with 20 points. Not enough. And, oh good, a miss on that strength up. strike doesn't kill the one, it does do two attacks, and so it does get us kind of a turn ahead as far as getting them killed, because they kind of take three right now. Uh, three points uh, from us. Alright, Joshua's looking a little bit beat up That's here. That's that then! Let's move out! We do have um, some cookies or something, some kind of foods that we... I think this way over here was just the, the mushroom we want to go north. Uh, because we've got the points, I think we can do a strike. Um, and now I think we have enough that we can do... Um, Estelle's Hurricane, uh, which will hit two of them. So let's see if we can finish off one of them. Huh? And get the hit on the second one. That seems fine. And then I think uh, Joshua moved up into the strength plus zone. Let's see if this is going to be enough to finish him off. Um, it might have been enough that we could have used it on the other guy. Um, but, oh well. Do it here. We'll take one more hit. Yeah, we probably need to 
our shortcut to our food. Um, oh no, that's to make the food? Okay, so we do need to go to... Our items. Um, we have a drill meatball, so let's take that to Joshua. There we go. That should tide us over for a while. Um, yeah, the, the food uh, kind of system in this game is pretty important. It does help you um, survive through uh, your fights and your encounters without having to go and save at the inn or kind of rest every... after every single... quest whether it's a side quest or a main quest or... Alright, I think... I think that's how we put these guys. That hit may have moved him out, but we might be able to hit all three of them with Estelle's Hurricane. Which is really awesome. <laughs> value of that finish two off. The guy that can hit. Let's do that. Alright, and then we'll finish them off. Piece of cake. Alright, we need about 25-ish experience points to level up. Let's just grab this guy. It's probably not worth it, but oh, there we go. We got a couple of things here. I think here we will enter, I think we get to the mine here, um, yeah, it looks like a little bit of area here, oh, we talked to this guy, alright, 
This is the entrance to the Malka Mine. If you're not here on business, then I'll have to ask you to leave. Believe it or not, we are here on business. Roland's mayor, Klaus, has asked that we come here and pick up a certain septium crystal. Estelle shows land in the mayor's referral. Well, all right then. If you've got a referral from the mayor, then that's a different story. I don't mean to make your job any more difficult, but would you mind going inside and speaking with the boss directly? I'm supposed to stand watch out here. Sure, that's fine, but why the boss? We're actually here to see the mine chief. That mine chief you're talking about is actually our boss, Mr. Gatton. He manages the mine and all of its workers. He's the kind of guy who enjoys discovering a septium load more than eating three meals a day. I'm fairly sure he's working down in the lower tunnels today. Thanks for the tip. We'll go see if we can locate him. Alright, so I'm just seeing if there's anything around here that we can snag or something. Um, it doesn't look like it. Alright, so we got into the mine. So I'm going to real quick be a, in the good habit of we will save. Uh, now that we've made it all the way over here. Um, so one thing I'm noticing right away is there is no mini map here in the mine. So we're going to have to do a little bit of maybe some exploration. I don't know if we have any enemies um, in this first level or first area. At some point, I assume we will have to fight some... Check it out! It's a minecart! Do you think it's powered by orbments too? Looks that way to me. How about we get and see where it takes us? So we're gonna ride the minecart. Okay, so it looks like that switch that we flipped... Um brought us down on this track. Okay, so I thought the switch was going to let us get on the minecart. Um, so it looks like that's the elevator, so we probably want to flip the switch after. So we were probably supposed to get into the cart um, before flipping the switch, and we probably got eager. I do appreciate that this little bit of the minecart right is pretty quick to other things. Oh, here's somebody. All right. Minor Miles. Great. Ay, Dios. What are you kids doing down here? Are you friends with someone who works here in the mine? Not exactly. We've come to see the mine chief at the request of the mayor. Oh, so you're here about the crystal, are you? Well, if you're looking for the boss, he should be in the tunnels below. If you use the elevator at the end of the tracks on the opposite side of the mine, you can get down there. The end of the tracks on the opposite side of the mine. When you were riding in the minecart, you noticed a place along the way where the track diverges, right? If you follow that other line, you'll reach the elevator. In order to get there, you'll have to go back where you came from and flip the lever to activate the track switch. Alright, well, there's nothing over... I thought that we'd at least get, like, a treasure chest or something. Uh, make it worth our time, and it was not worth our time. What a waste. Alright, so... We could have just flipped the switch and gone south originally. I hope the um, this dungeon doesn't involve a lot of exploration and flipping switches. Um, like it's an interesting mechanic and it's cute, but it's uh, this is the elevator we're supposed to use to reach the lower tunnels, right? Why doesn't it work? Let me have a look. Um, there's orbital energy running through it, but appears to be mechanically locked. Maybe we should go back and ask that miner about it. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, um, like I was saying, it's kind of a pain in the long run of going back just to flip a switch. It'd be kind of nice if, um, if there's going to be a lot of it. If this is, like, the only switch, I guess that's fine. Like, it's makes sense in that, but it'd be nice if you just got to these forks and it asked you which way you wanted to go. Um, or after you've maybe flipped the switch in each direction, um, you can just kind of shortcut it. What's that you say? The elevator wouldn't work? 
I see what the problem is. You need the key to activate it. But since you don't have one of your own, I'll help you out by lending you mine. Much appreciated. Once our business here is finished, we'll make sure to return it. Um... Because as we saw, right, it was just that was a case of go there, go back, flip the switch, go there, go back, flip the switch, go there, get the key, go back, flip the switch, and get the elevator. And so it's like a bit of a fetch quest with a very short distance, but kind of um, meaningless and boring and very tedious. Uh, in my opinion, at least. All right, now let's see if we can get the elevator to work. Estelle, try using that key we just borrowed. We should be able to get the elevator working this time. They'll use the elevator. It looks like we can use the elevator now. How about we head down into the lower tunnels? Alright, use elevator. And I'm hoping, likewise, that there's just like one level and we don't have to do like multiple floors, but I, to be honest, have no idea. Alright, so here we go. Some kind of figuring our way around here. Task. All right, let's. Here we go. Maybe this is the boss. Miner in trading. Eek! You scared me there for a second. So you're looking for the mine chief, are you? I'm sure he's somewhere across the bridge. Okay, so he was across the bridge. This way, no. Okay, here's an orbit resting station so we can heal ourselves. And then let's go talk to the boss. Let's see if we can find the boss. Alright, is this the boss? Are you the boss? No, you're not the boss. Are you the boss? No, you're not the boss. Alright, so the boss was not down this way. Hopefully there's not a task to, like, figure out who all these miners are. And remember them, because I just see a bunch of miners' names and things. Alright, are you the boss? Mine Chief Gatton. Heaven and Earth, what are two kids like you doing down here in the mine? You're the mine chief, right? Boy, am I glad to see you. We've been searching all over this dank place for you. We're with the Bracer Guild, and we've come today on behalf of Mayor Klaus. Hand it over to the mayor's for... Hmm, I see, so you kids are bracers, are you? That's quite a feat for being so young. Teehee, it's not that big of a deal. By the way, you're supposed to have some sort of crystal for us, right? Oh, right. Give me a second. This little baby is something you don't see every day, which is why I've been keeping it as close to myself as possible. The Mind Chief pulls a large grain crystal from his breast pocket. Wow! I've never seen a crystal this big before. That is impressive. There seems to be light swirling around inside, too. It's one of several types of septium. Specifically, it's an Esmelis crystal, which is endowed with the power of wind. For a gem of this size, you're looking at a hefty price tag. I'm talking about a small fortune here. Make absolutely sure that this gets to the mayor. Roger that. It's so beautiful. It feels like I'm carrying a little fairy in my hand. This is super fun. Check this out, Joshua! That's nice and all, but how about you stop horsing around? If you drop it, we could be in some real trouble. Fine, you big killjoy! Estelle put the crystal away in her pocket. Well, I guess that's that! We'll get out of your hair now, Mr. Catton. But don't worry, we'll make sure this gets to the mayor. I'm counting on you, kids. Huh? What's the matter? That's odd. The airflow down here suddenly shifted. The airflow? 
Not sent, it's... Whoa! Ah! Is it over? Was that an earthquake just now? No, it seems there's been a cave-in somewhere within the mine. I wonder if one of the miners hit a patch of loose ground. I'd better check on the extent of the damage. Look out, Estelle. What? Little crabby boy. Okay, well, we saved up our... Let's do this! Arts for this, or our crafts for this. So let's see if we can kill a crab in one strike. Super powered up. I went for that crab in the back because um, it was kind of farther away from us, so that way we got to walk towards it. I don't know if they have a distance move or not. Ooh, we probably got to protect that guy, so... Um, I didn't realize he was... <laughs> trying to flee. Oh no, don't come closer to the crop. Um, I could taunt, but I don't think... Um, our friend will die when just one hit. And they don't seem to be super fixated on him. Alright, and I think now I can hurricane. And hit them both. Kill one for Maybe both of them. And that feels good. Okay. Alright! We rule! Why are there... Do you usually have problems with monsters like this? No, this is the first time we've ever had anything like this happen down here. Monsters have a predisposition which attracts them to the glow of Septium, so we've had a lot of them wander into the mine in the past, but... Judging from the situation, it may be that the recent cave-in opened up a hole connected to a den of monsters. Did you say a den of monsters? It's not inconceivable. But this is no time to be standing around thinking about it. I've got to get the other workers out of here. If that's the case, then how about letting us help you out? You're kidding, right? Monster extermination is right up our alley, and besides, every minute counts! You're right, some extra help would be much appreciated. So how many miners are we looking at in all? There should only be four others working here in the lower tunnels. Got it. Now let's go find them. Sorry about this. Oh, sorry about this. Oh, right. Take these and use them if you need to. Alright, so we got a little bit of heals. Um, this guy's coming with us. We got some grabs are going to attack us along the way. Let's see. Okay, so we don't need to... Goodness, we don't need to know who the miners are. Um, but we do need to... Rescue them. And we've got the chief with us, so we do need to try and keep him alive. I do wish his... Um, stats would show up on the bottom. With everything else. Um just so we would have an idea of how dangerous he is, or at risk he is. Ooh, is there another crab down there? Um, or did he just show up? I do not know. He might have just joined the fight. Oh, 
Okay, they've got a call for backup move. That's what we're seeing here. All right, so let's hurricane them both. It's kind of fun that we get a cool little call for backup move so that we're constantly in danger of call for backup if he's the only one, um, or if they have a limit to how much backup they're called for. So, but it looks like he didn't call for backup this time, so we can finish this battle off. Now, in theory, the more we right. show up, the more we're good to go. we'll get, along with Sepeth. So we'll be leveling up soon. Alright, that was fun. Now, we remember... Two of our workers don't come any closer. I'm not trying to brag, but I'm all muscle, so I wouldn't make a tasty meal. Me too. I'm not delicious either. All this flab would be terrible for a monster's health. Okay, so I assume they're being attacked by a crab, and we're gonna save two of these guys. guys saved. Let's see. There's a crab. Um, I'm gonna just get this. Heal real quick. Alright, and I don't know that we've been up this way. Oh, hey, idiot, sword in heaven, extend to us thy saving hand. Hey, idiot, if you've got time to pray to the goddess, then how about helping me take care of these creatures? So I think, looks like we've got two more guys up here. And... We'll... Tim... 
dish out some pain. We should be fine because we did go for that heal. Um, they don't do a ton of damage. <laughs> On our hits. Um, I am feeling very, very lazy and tired, so I'm not... Um, I honestly am kind of half falling asleep uh, as we do this, so that's why I'm not managing the bonuses very well. Um, or trying to figure out ways to snag all those bonuses. And I wish that I was focusing on that more and make it go a little bit faster, but... Um, I am not, and for good or for bad, that's the reason why is I just am trying to uh, not fall asleep and do this. I don't know why I'm uh, so tired today. I'm tired every day. Um, I don't know why besides just being old. So, uh... <laughs> We'll see, but we're these battles aren't That's that then. again dangerous enough Let's that move I'm out. to like oh, we gotta level up. Um like be really strategic in them. Uh which is nice so we can just kind of brute force our way through. Okay. Um, they're having a little fight about their religion, that's fine. Okay, we got both of the two groups of miners. Don't really want to fight that crab. So now we're going to go back to talk to this guy. This guy, oh, he's got three crabs on him. So I think Estelle has a yeah, craft ready. Um, because Joshua is also on a, a critical hit, if you dual strike, two criticals should be about 100. Um, each, which is going to be is it just enough to kill a... Scary crab, and then we'll pummel on a stealth craft. We got two crabs right out of the gate. This crab probably walks forward. Oh, he did get in close enough. That guy runs away. And now we'll just try and uh, kill Mr. Crab before he gets any backup. Whoa. Alright, looks like we got that one taken care of. That's that then. Let's move out. said he was trying to he's the minor in training he was trying to kind of be a cool kid and came down here where he wasn't supposed to and opened that wall there and that's where the monsters are so and then we were told uh, not to go down that way so we're gonna I assume get out of here and maybe we'll have to come back and clear those monsters out um, at some time uh, later. 
Alright, so they've locked the elevator. And, oh, there's the minor. That was a huge miscalculation on my part. I never expected monsters to surface or bracers to show up. I guess I just have to report the truth about everything that happened. Mm, that's suspicious. I apologize for getting you involved in more than your fair share of work today. I'll get in touch with the guild a little later on and make sure you two are compensated fairly. Don't sweat it. We just did what anyone would have done in our position. And besides, it's all a part of our training to become full-fledged bracers. By the way, what do you intend to do about the lower tunnels? I don't know, but we'll figure out some way to deal with it. There's always the option of sealing off the monster den with some explosives. As a heads up, I may ask the guild for help if we run into any other serious trouble. Sure, you can count on us. And we'll make sure this crystal gets to the mayor as intended. You did make sure that you didn't drop it, right, Estelle? How rude. I'm not that careless. Look, it's right. It, it. You didn't. You lost it? Psych, I've got it right here. Let's go make that delivery, shall we? Grr, you're unbelievable. Young lady, those are the kind of words that'll give an old man like me a heart attack. Alright, bye. Bye, guy. Alright, and here's... the part where I wish we had... a fast travel, because... I do not want to have to walk... all the way back... Can't outrun these guys. We got surprise attack. That's fine. Uh, we leveled up again, which I'm hoping means, and it looks like they're they are doing less. Um, they're still doing some. Uh, the one was a zero. The other ones have been threes, which means we'll have enough. that we can get through this battle pretty easily. It's just the timing on it of how long is it going to take. Uh, but I know you guys don't mind the time because you're here to spend the time with me. Uh, so I know you guys are just as happy to have a little bit more time. That heal actually brought us back to or Estelle back to full health. So that's pretty good. All right. All right. We're good to go. We're good to go. that guy and turn my map a little bit and run into this guy. That's fine. We can get rid of these guys real quick. Just a couple of them. I know I've mentioned it before, and I said I wish that more of these investors, when they become uh, too underpowered for us, that they would just uh, 
uh, run away, or that we could auto resolve them. That's that then. Because I suppose there's Let's value in being able to grab the Sabbath. It seems like we've been doing a lot. I think this is our 10th video I'm on this, and it seems like, oh man, we've been doing so many quests and other things. We're doing all the side quests. Um, if we didn't have, if we didn't do that, um, probably the combats would be a little bit more level appropriate. Um, but doing all the side quests, you level up pretty quick. And then you're kind of seeing here, we're visiting the same area kind of multiple times. So the time we come back the second or third time, um, we're much stronger. You know, the first time it might be, it might be a little underpowered, and then the second time is kind of even power, and then the third time is a little overpower, roughly give or take. So, because we're still, as I was saying, we're still in the first chapter, we're still doing everything. Uh, That's that thing. Town, our starting Let's area. Let's move out. And once we finish all of those main quests and side quests um, in our starting area, we will then travel around. And I think the uh, side quests and kind of the game pace picks up a little bit um, once we get through this first part in the city. Right, so let's go back, talk to the mayor. And then we'll have just enough time to report our quest to the guild. Get our um, rewards and then get the next sequence of main quests. Okay. Grillin uniform. I see. I would never have imagined that the clock tower had such an anecdote to go with it. I am totally blown away after hearing that. With war, it's easy to speak of tragedy. But I think what's important is the strength to overcome the pain and establish peace. Well, who do we have here? We've come to deliver the object you requested. Um, did we catch you in the middle of something? Oh, Estelle and Joshua, you're no trouble at all. In fact, you've come at a good time. Let me introduce you to my guest. This is Josette. She's a student at the Genis Royal Academy. The Genis Royal Academy? I've heard of it before. It's a boarding school for higher education in the Rouen region, right? Yes, that's right. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Josette Har. I'm Estelle. It's nice to meet you, Josette. You can call me Joshua. The two of them are actually bracers. I had asked them to do a personal job for me. Bracers? You mean the proud knights of freedom who love peace above all else and do not succumb to any power? This is such an inspiring moment. I never thought I'd run to any real bracers. The inspiring part sounds a little much. By the way, is it alright if I just call you Josette? Yes, please do. So, why did you come to Roland? Are you a friend of the mayor's? No, today is actually the first time we've ever met. I'm researching the important cultural assets of each region as a part of my independent studies. And although I thought he might be busy, I've been lucky enough to get an audience with the mayor. You're really serious about your studies, aren't you? Maybe we're intruding a bit, huh? No, I've already asked the mayor enough questions. Instead, maybe it is I who am in the way. Don't be silly. It's not like that at all. Estelle, this is a great opportunity, so how about showing her what you've brought with you? Sure. Hold on a second. Oh my word, that's septium, right? What a wonderful glow it gives off. Yes, and its size is impressive too. This is indeed a gift worthy of expressing the appreciation of all Roland's citizens. A gift? Worthy of expressing our appreciation? I see, so this is a gift for the Queen's anniversary. 
You're sharp, Joshua. I intend to send an engraved orbman using this to the Queen. As a token of Roland Citizen's appreciation to Her Majesty, who will be turning 60 years old. So it's a present for the Queen? How delightful. We, as citizens of Liberal, owe Her Majesty a great debt for all she has done for us. In fact, the reason why we can use an airliner with such ease is because of the support of the royal family. I've even heard that the Bracer Guild at Liberal has received support from the royal family. We do owe her a great debt of gratitude. Wow, that's pretty amazing! And can you believe it, Joshua? We carried a present for the Queen with these very hands. And what's more, you ran around with it in those hands like a wild maniac. You weren't supposed to tell anyone. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. I wouldn't have imagined anything less from you, Estelle. You guys. Here you go, Mayor Klaus. It has been faithfully delivered. Thank you very much. And as a matter of precaution... Okay, it'll be safe in there. <laughs> now that all that's left is to have Melder's Orbital Factory finish up the engraving on its ornament. I can't wait to see what it'll look like when it's done. Don't hog it all to yourself when you do. Let me see it too when it's finished, okay? It's too bad I won't be here to see it for myself, but today I was lucky enough to speak with the mayor and see something as beautiful as that. How shall I ever thank you? Don't mention it. This is all part of my job as a mayor. Thank you for everything. But I think it's time for me to say goodbye. I think we should be going ourselves. Agreed. Have a nice day, Mayor Klaus. Yourselves as well. So you're heading home tomorrow on the airliner, are you? Yes, that's right. School's about to begin. I see. So you use your school vacation time to come here? That's too bad. We could have made great friends. I hope we could meet again sometime. There's nothing I would like more. Please have a wonderful day, Estelle, Joshua. What a nice girl. For looking like someone from a rich family, she wasn't snooty at all. Yeah. Joshua? Oh, could I be corrected assuming that she's your type? What? What are you talking about? You're blushing! I'm really surprised! I had no idea that you were the rich girl type. We'll have to get some pickup lines ready for the next time you meet. Quit getting all excited about nothing. Especially when you have no idea what others are thinking. Huh? Just never mind. Anyway, let's report to the guild. The next job we're doing for Dad will be the last one. Oh, right. All right, let's get pumped and knock this last one out. All right, let's... Uh, reorient my map again. And I think we're gonna pause here. So we'll step into the guild. Um, we've got a couple of new things. So we will probably grab those and then report our uh, progress on the next one. So let's save that there. Uh, thanks guys for watching. Uh, if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're at 36 subscribers, I think. We're uh, we're doing great, but we could use a few more. So click that subscribe button, like the video if you've enjoyed it, leave us a comment, and otherwise, we will see you all next time. Bye!